Hello all, and uh, thank you for joining us today. We are excited to have John Breer joining us today. Uh, John is John is the Director of Client Development at the CME Group, and he will be presenting an introduction to, uh, to the uh, micro crude oil. And uh, it's a new contract offered by the CME Group, and it made it available just last week. So it's been trading for uh, for over a week now. And before we get started with John's presentation, we would like to talk about the CME Group and TradeAbate and how they work together. While today's webinar focuses on the micro Bitcoin and WTI futures at the CME, uh, the CME does offer a wide range of products that are available on TradeAbate. We would encourage you to check out the CME Resource Center at the TradeAbate website under the Knowledge tab. At the CME Resource Center, you can find heat maps, trading insights, and more. We also encourage you to visit the CME Group's website at cmegroup.com for a wealth of information on trading futures. All right, before we get started, let's go over the standard disclaimer. Brokerage services are provided by TradeAvate. TradeAvate is a member of the NFA and registered with the CFTC. This is not an offer of or solicitation for brokerage services or other products or services in any jurisdiction where Tradeavate is not authorized to do business or such offer or solicitation would be contrary to local laws and regulations of that jurisdiction. Futures and options trading involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Investors should understand that risk involved in trading and carefully consider whether such trading is suitable in light of their financial circumstances and resources. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so after the presentation, we will open up for questions as well. So if you want to, you can submit them in advance for consideration, and then John and I would be happy to go over those after the presentation. All right, well, I'd like to present John Bria of the CME now. Welcome, John. I'll, I'll let you take over. Great. Thank you for having me here today. And, and a big thanks to Trader for hosting this and for all those tuning in. Um, I'm excited to be here to talk about uh, the micro WTI crude oil futures contracts. We launched these this new contract um, on August 12th, so last Sunday, for Monday's trade date of the 13th. And this contract has been trading for seven days now. And it's been a tremendous success in the eyes of the exchange. It's, uh, it really has, it's been a long time coming to launch this product. We've been working on it for years. It's finally here. And it really resonated with the global trading community just as, as we thought it would. Um, in just over seven days of trading, we've done a little over 300,000 round turns. So 300,000 contracts traded on this new product. Um, we're averaging a little over 40,000 contracts a day, and we're seeing volume coming in from 70 different countries, and what's really promising so early in this market is that we're seeing 25% of the volume coming from outside of the United States. So as our standard CL contract is really a benchmark um, crude oil contract for the global trading community, and it's a global product, we're seeing this micro um, version of crude oil, the micro WTI crude oil future really, really take after its, its bigger counterpart. So I'm excited to get into today's content. Um, right before we get going here, the CME group has a disclaimer as well, like Tradevate. We want to acknowledge that futures trading isn't suitable for all investors. These products are leveraged products and they do involve the risk of loss. And we all, always want to encourage traders before going into a new product or a new asset class, or new market, please ensure that you're doing your homework, you understand how the products work, how the mar markets operate. And if you look for any uh, information on these products, you can contact Tradeavate and, and go to their resource center on their website, or you can come to cmegroup.com. And if you click on education at the top banner of our website, it will take you into the CME Institute where there is just an entire library of, of educational content for you to comb through and really, really learn about our products and our markets. All right, so here's the agenda. I've split it up into four parts. Part one, we're gonna go over the brief history of WTI at CME Group. Part two, we're gonna dive into the new micro contracts. 
We'll look at the contract specs. We'll talk about why the exchange is launching this new micro product. Third portion, we're going to talk about specific trading examples, um, simple P&L examples, scaling in and out, the ability to go short. And then part four, we're going to briefly talk about some of the CME group tools and resources that we have available um, for free to the entire trading community. Getting into it, part one, what's the story on WTI crude oil? So at the exchange, we now have three different WTI crude oil futures contracts. We have the standard CL contract. We have a legacy E-mini contract, which is one half the size of our standard CL contract. And now we have this new micro WTI futures contract. So we now have three varieties of crude oil contracts at CME Group. So we have different size contracts for all different types of traders, traders and different types of strategies. And one thing that we like to make known is this product, WTI crude oil, is priced out of Cushing, Oklahoma, and this contract has deep ties to energy markets all over the world. And we like to say that our markets and our products really provide the most efficient way to trade on U.S. and international events that relate to crude oil. And since these markets are highly active and highly volatile, they do provide opportunities in nearly all market conditions. And whether those are opportunities on the hedging side or the speculative side, that price action in this market really brings those opportunities for all the different types of traders looking to partake in the crude oil market. And something about our futures products, which kind of differ from uh, an ETF product or or say a, an energy stock is that our products really offer direct exposure to actual crude. So they offer direct exposure to the underlying contract. We like to view that as an advantage over alternatives because it gives somebody the opportunity to really express an opinion on the direct underlier. And our contracts, uh, they serve as a central point of global price discovery. And because of that, because of all the different um, trader types, whether they be asset managers, hedge funds, retail traders, prop traders, that all partake in these crude oil markets each day, everybody coming together, creating that price discovery, creating those markets, creating that centralized marketplace, it really does offer an efficient way to trade uh, crude oil, manage your crude oil risk and speculate on the market direction. And going into what WTI is, we throw WTI around all the time. And some people stop me and say, what does WTI actually stand for? But what it stands for is it's West Texas Intermediate. And what that is, it's a U.S. blend of several streams of domestic light sweet crude. And it's all priced out of Cushing, Oklahoma, which is the delivery point for this contract. And Cushing is home to 90 million barrels of storage capacity. And on any given day, three and a half million barrels can flow in and three million barrels can flow out. So it really is a, it's a, giant, it's a giant hub out of Oklahoma. Okay, so looking at the U.S. crude dynamics and crude is really, it's a pure supply and demand market where the whole market and the price of crude is really dictated on how much crude is being produced and how much crude is being consumed. And so I pulled some data here to show how, how the crude production in the U.S. has kind of evolved over the last couple of years. And where we stand today, U.S. crude production, it hit a record high, 13.1 million, barrel, million barrels a day back in March of this year. And that was a record. And we are now the, uh, we are the, the world's largest crude producer. And that's changed in recent years. We, we've become the largest crude producer and when you look on the right hand side of this screen, and you look at the crude exports, there's some really interesting statistics here to look at. So U.S. crude exports hit a record high of 3.2 million barrels a day in 2020. So last year was a record of exporting at 3.2 million barrels a day. And this year, we're right under that. We're averaging almost 3.1 million barrels a day. And a record of 3.0 million barrels a day uh, a U.S. crude was exported in February of last year. So that's an enormous amount of crude being exported. And we're really seeing um, demand in China and India as the catalyst behind some of this record exporting on the U.S. side. 
And then just as we're seeing those dynamics on the global crude oil production and export grow and evolve, we're also seeing that translate into the volumes that we're seeing at the CME Group on our standard CL contract. So that legacy standard crude oil contract, we're seeing some tremendous volume and growth in that contract as well. So that it's, it's translating, right? So here you'll see that CL, the average open interest hit a two-year high of two and a half million contracts in, in February of this year. We're seeing the CL ADV is a, at a little over 1 million uh, in 2021. That's up 5.7% from year over year month to date. And again, I stated this at the beginning when we kicked the, the webinar off, this market is truly a global market. And in, in CL today, 25% of the futures volume is coming from non-US regions. And that, if you remember, that translates directly into what the WTI has, has done in over in a little over seven days of trading. These are truly global markets. The world is coming to trade crude oil with our contracts, and it's really exciting for us at the exchange. And then taking a look at the price this year. So this is the price action in crude oil for this year. And since the beginning of this year, crude oil was trading at $48, right around $48 a barrel. Today, it's trading a little over $70 a barrel. And you see this graph and you see the price action. And again, where there's price action, where there's volatility comes opportunity. You always have to maintain certain levels of risk and make sure that you're managing your risk accordingly. And then don't take out or don't bite off more than you can chew. But here's a, a really good example of the price action, the price movement in this market. And you see we're a little over, I believe it's 40, right around 46% um, in price appreciation this year from 48 to a little over 70. And when you look at Monday's price action, uh, the volatility was it was incredible. On Monday, the price action, the price went down right around eight and a half percent. It's up a little over four, four and a half percent today. So that volatility is, is still there. And before we launched the crypto contracts at the exchange, the crude oil contracts that we offer were, were some of the most volatile products that we have. Okay, so let's get into the star of the show. Let's take a look at the new micro WTI crude oil futures contracts. So why are we launching these contracts today? Or why did we launch them last week, I should say? Um, why we're, we're launching more micro contracts is the simple because really it's a, it's a direct result of customer demand. We started launching micro contracts 10 years ago they really exploded after we launched our micro equity complex back in, back in May of 2019. And since we launched those, each year or each month, we would hear customers come to us and say, We're not, when are you going to launch micros on this? When are you going to launch, launch micros on that? And the resounding uh, consensus was, when are you going to launch micros on WTI? So it's here. It took us a while to get here, but we're, we're finally here. These contracts launched last week. And these smaller contracts, these micro contracts, are one tenth the size of our standard CL contracts. And they offer all of the same uh, benefits, the same um, transparency and price discovery that our, our standard CL contract offer, just with smaller margin requirements, lesser notional exposure, um, smaller tick size. And we'll go into the specs right now. So. These, these products launch on July 12th. The contract size of this micro WTI contract, it consists of 100 barrels of crude oil. Our standard contract is 1,000 barrels of crude oil. Our mini is 500 barrels. This micro contract is 100 barrels of crude oil. Again, that's one-tenth the size of our standard contract. The tick, the minimum tick value, is one cent per barrel which comes out to $1 per tick. The product code on this contract is MCL. And the margin requirement that we've set at an exchange level is $530. So that's the initial margin that the, that the exchange sent on this. And that margin may vary. You might have a day trade margin at Trade of Eight or uh, another margin that, that Trade of Eight offers, but this is the exchange margin. And then one thing to note, 
which is different from our standard CL contract, is the settlement on this contract is financially settled. So this is a cash settled product. It is not a physically settled or physically delivered product. And the expiration on this is one day prior to the expiration of our WTI, our standard CL contract. And we'll go over what that looks like and when that is. And the trading hours on this contract are our standard trading hours. It's from Sunday to Friday, 5 p.m. to 4 p.m. And each day there's a 60 minute halt at 4 p.m. Central Time when we run our batch and send all the trades and positions over to the FCMs so they can clear and go into your end accounts. So taking a look at how these new micro contracts compare to their, to their larger counterparts. Remember, micro WTI is one-tenth of our standard contract. And when you look at the E-mini contract, it's 500 barrels versus 1,000 on the standard. So that's half the size of our standard. The, um, going down, the, I want to highlight the settlement. The micro is, remember, the micro is financially settled. The E-mini is financially settled. So those settlements are the same, and that's one day prior to the standard. The standard contract is physically settled. And then when you look at the, the margin requirement there, the margin on the micro, again, I want to highlight this, is $530 to gain exposure to 100 barrels of crude. If that uh, is trading at $70 like it is today, that's a $7,000 um, crude oil contract where you can gain exposure to that for $530. And looking at the E-mini margin, the E-mini margin is $2,650. And the margin on the standard is 5,300. This is just a quick comparison of the micro versus its larger counterparts. Let's talk about how the retail community can benefit from trading MCL. And so when you look at futures in particular, these are leverage products. And leverage is, in my opinion, it's more like a power tool. When, power, when you know how to use the power tool, and you can hone the power of that tool, it's a really effective tool. And so we like to say leverage is an advantage when used properly. It's not a disadvantage when you really understand how to use it and figure out that market. And historically, CL was one of the most volatile tradable products um, at CME before we launched our crypto complex. And this is really a pure supply and demand market. So when you're looking at this market, you can see if you're watching an OPEC meeting and they come out and say, like they have recently, they're going to um, increase output. You know how that's going to affect a market. Right? If they said they were going to decrease output, how is that going to affect the market? So there's really no CEO scandals that impact the price of CL. There's no stock splits. There's no rebalancing like you see in ETF. There's no earnings to worry about. This is a real supply and demand market. And when you look on the right-hand side here, I put in a graph, and I like to say this is a trend consolidate trend market where traders can find opportunities because they know a trader, a price will move within a channel. There'll be a breakout when there's a change in supply and demand, and then it will kind of settle into that, into that channel again. So it trends, it breaks out, it trends. And traders can chart these out really take a look at the different factors that go into the production, the exporting, take a look at the OPEC meeting and some of the tools we're about to look at and really find opportunities, whether you're speculating or hedging with these products and specifically the micro product that is a, a smaller, um, smaller notional, smaller margin requirement, smaller tick size. So with these smaller products, um, they offer some unique benefits versus their larger counterparts. And so these are features of the micro WTI, and you can really say these are features of all of our micro products. So with these smaller products come the ability to precisely scale your exposure. And with MCL, you can precisely scale your oil exposure with this micro product. So if you wanted to add more granularity to your energy trading or your risk management strategies, you can do so with this smaller 100 barrel product. You can manage your position with more versatility with this micro product. And if you're trading the E-mini product or you're trading the, the standard product, 
this smaller product will really uh, just offer you another tool where you can choose um, choose a product with more granularity to really manage uh, your contract, your position size. So if you wanted to to trade 200 barrels of crude or trade a contract with exposure to 200 barrels of crude, you trade two of these micros. Um, and also these smaller products add access and capital efficiency um, to one of the most liquid oil markets in the world. And we're seeing the liquidity um, really take shape very early in these markets. So we're seeing about a one, mostly a one, sometimes a two tick wide market in the micro crude oil. And that's been incredible to see develop. It, it developed into a really tight market within half of a trading day to a full trading day. And it really developed quickly. It's been outstanding to see it take shape. So here's a really simple P&L illustration just showing how one can profit by trading a micro contract. So here's a, uh, barring any uh, commissions or data fees or any fees from uh, clearing a brokerage, this is a simple P&L example of a trader that decided to go long one micro crude contract. They're thinking that the global economy is reopening, OPEC is going to be able to maintain current production so price. Um, it's going to the price would rise with demand. So looking at the example on the right hand side, trader goes along one August contract at $74. Okay. Remember the contract, this micro contract has a tick value. It ticks in a penny and each penny is worth a dollar. So you get into this position at $74. Your position Crude appreciates to $74.50 a barrel. Your position now appreciates by 50 ticks. So that's a $50 profit right there. P plus two, your position, crude oil is now trading at $75.63. That's 163 tick or a $1.63 price move. That's $163 in profit. Still that position's open, so that profit's not not closed or not uh, assumed by the trader. P plus three, crew's trading at $74.84 a barrel. So that's now your position has appreciated by 84 ticks. That's an $84 profit. Trader wants to get out. They want to lock in their profits. They want to walk away with a little bit of money. Their crude oil is trading at $75.23 a barrel. That's a 123 tick move. That's a $123 profit. Establish that position. The exchange margin on this is $530. So in this example, this trader put up $530 to gain exposure to one micro crude. And with a dollar and 23 cent move in that market made $123. Again, that's a simple P&L example. Moving right into scaling, the micro complex has really allowed traders who may have tr historically been trading a one lot of e-mini contracts or a one lot of our standard CL contracts to really trade more contracts because of the size of them, with them being one-tenth their, their standard counterpart. We're seeing some people trade five, six, seven contracts at a time. And when you're trading more of these contracts, you can scale into that position where you can't scale with a one lot. When you put a one lot down, it's, it's, it's there. With this, if you were to establish a position and go long five micro CL, in this example right here, you're gonna go long five micro CL right around $73 a barrel. If that price appreciates, you have a position of five contracts. Say it gets up in this example to $74.50 a barrel. You wanna lock in some profit there. You can take off, you can sell three contracts. That still gives you exposure. You're still maintaining exposure with two long micro CL contracts because you initially established five. Right, you traded five contracts, you get out three at 74.50. You maintain two, con two lots on. Price appreciates up to $75. This trader wants to lock in more profit. They're gonna sell one because they wanna maintain profit. They still have an opinion that this market's gonna go up even further. So they maintain one lot on, gets to 76, 
this, this trader says I'm out. I'm going to lock in. I'm going to close on my position. I'm going to flatten out. This trader sells their last lot at 76 to lock in profit. So what we're seeing with these micro contracts is people are trading more of them and people are trading, um, or people are training more of them and they're allowing their positions to scale to higher or lower levels. And where you can, in this example, you're scaling out of a position, you can also scale into a position. If you see this market going at 76 and you believe it's gonna go down to $70, $70 a barrel, you may wanna get in at one lot, on one lot at 74 maybe another lot at 73, another at 72.50, another at 72. So whereas we scaled out, you can also scale in and average into this market with, with more micro contracts. And you can also go short with these micro contracts. These are futures contracts. And one of the benefits of futures is that you can go short just as easy as you can go long. So here's a quick example of how one trader went short one micro um, WTI contract to potentially manage some risk that they might have on, on crude oil or in crude oil, I should say. So one trader establishes a contract, goes short one uh, micro crude oil. If it's trading at $74 a barrel, that's a notional amount of $7,400. When you look at your, your options of going short via common stock or ETF, in order to establish a $7,400 position in those products, you'll have to you'll have to post um, that reg T margin, which is 50%. So you'd post a, a set $3,700 to gain exposure to $7,400 worth of ETF or stock. Um, and then when you when you look at it here, this is an example that shows a 15% price decline in the underlier. So a 15% price decline in uh, micro WTI crude, 15% price decline on Exxon, Schlumberger, and an ETF. Um, and you look at the profit here. The profit really isn't that uh, dissimilar from one another. They're all right around $1,100 profit. But what is eye-opening here is just the capital efficiencies of our products versus the alternatives, where if you're an MCL trader, you're only have, having to post $530 to gain exposure to $7,400. Whereas on the, the common stock or ETF side, you're gonna post $3,700. So 3,700 versus 530 to make $1,100. And so when you look at some of the other um, comparisons here, power products and MCL in particular offers around the clock trading. These, these products trade, 23 hours a day, six days a week. Um, there are spreading efficiencies. If you were to spread these contracts with other with other CME group energy futures, um, the one thing that these contracts, the MCL in particular, don't have versus common stock and ETS are dividends. That's one, one thing that we don't offer. But when you look at the size of our markets, and here's an example of the size of the crude oil market, versus four of the largest ETF markets. When you look at the size of it, it it's really eye-opening in the daily average notional dollar value traded on a daily basis at CME Group in CL. It's greater than all four of the major ETFs combined. So when you look at the average daily dollar volume in CL, it's $33.5 billion versus 1.15 plus another 153 million plus 82 million plus 51 million. So our our one CL contract far out trades the the corresponding um, ETFs in the energy side. And so what that's telling us is that the world really does come to C, to CME Group to trade and to manage risk. And with MCL, we're seeing that very early on, where the world is coming to trade MCL. They're trading it around the clock, and 25% of that trading is coming from outside of the United States. We're, we're really optimistic and excited to watch this market develop and see some of these the liquidity and the volume and uh, the participation really grow in this market. And it's growing, it's growing quickly, and it's, it's really fun to watch. 
But touching on expiration, if you remember earlier, we said that the MCL, the micro WTI crude oil future, it's a financially settled product and it settles one day prior to the standard CL contract. So the standard CL contract goes off the board three business days prior to the 25th calendar day of the month prior to the contract month. So the 25th calendar day is not a business day, it's gonna trade, it's gonna terminate four days um, prior to the 25th calendar day. So the good thing about this is it is a cash settled product where you don't have to worry about getting a sign or getting, uh, taking delivery of any actual physical crew. So remember, if that is a cash settled product, there's two options that a trader has when expiration is approaching. If they want to maintain exposure to the underlier, if you wanted to maintain your position in crude after expiration, you want to roll your position. If you don't, if you want to just let your contract expire, you can do so. The contract and the position will expire and it will settle into a cash transaction and the trader just won't have any have any exposure in WTI after that expiration. But if you did want to roll and you wanted to maintain that exposure, something to be cognizant of is each month when a contract's going off the board, the volume is going to shift from that front month to the next month, to the next sequential month or other deferred months. So really take a look at, as you're nearing last trading day, take a look at where that market is, where that volume is. And here's the depiction of, this is the actual depiction of CL volume. And when you look at that black line, that's the Feb CL contract. It's trading right around 500,000, 600,000. This is in volume, 500,000 round turns, 600,000 round turns at the beginning of January. As we're approaching that third week in January, we're seeing that volume start to decrease. And we're seeing that blue line, which is the March contract, start to increase right there, right around the mid second week, I believe this is. So what that's telling us is market shifting as expiration starts, I'm sorry, volume is shifting as expiration starts approaching. And you never wanna get stuck in an illiquid market. So be very, cognizant of when that volume starts shifting and roll your position when that volume starts going into that next defer month. So you don't have to, to uh, settle for a, a bad fill to, to roll. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the, the CME group tools and resources that we have available. We have this OPEC watch tool that's available through cmegroup.com. And what it does is it calculates the probability of potential outcome um, for the next OPEC meeting. And how it does that is that it takes all of our CL option market uh, pricing data and it calculates the implied probabilities of um, three OPEC event outcomes. And the three outputs are, is the result of the meeting going to increase output? Is it going to maintain output cuts? Or are they going to further output cuts? And the tool is actually going to assign a probability to be a probability to each of those outcomes um, calculated using the nearest weekly and monthly expirations. So here's a screenshot of what that tool looks like. It's not the most glamorous or elaborate tool out there, but it's pretty intuitive, right? There's only three different outcomes here. And this was an outcome probability of half of July 1st. So it was calculating an 84% probability that um, the next OPEC meeting was going to result in further output cuts. Right? And on the left-hand side, there are various views that you can click into and look at. You have a current view. This is the current view and what it looks like. You can also click on the history tab and go in there and see how accurate this tool really was, right? So if you wanted to go and take a look at, at the top, there's tabs for July 1st, June 1st, April 28th, March 4th. So if this is interesting to you and you wanna trade um, the MCL product, I really suggest going into this tool and playing around and seeing if you can use it to your advantage. And in addition to that tool is a whole other um, 
slew of tools that, that you may find useful when trading MCL. And these can all be found through cmegroup.com. We have a commitment to trader tools. We have price action alerts. We have a liquidity tool. We have an economic release calendar. In addition to those tools are, are many of the key reports and factors that move the global crude markets. So again, these are available to everyone through cmegroup.com. Here you have what is this, nine different reports that you can take a look at and watch and help inform yourself and inform your trading strategies um, if you're looking at MCL. Okay, so in summary, the key takeaways from today's discussion, we launched the micro WTI crude contracts on August 12th for the 13th trade date. In a little over seven trade days, we've already done over 300,000 contracts with an ADV of 40, four, a little over 40,000. These contracts are one tenth the size of the standard CL contracts. And these micro uh, crude oil contracts offer all the same benefits, all the same advantages as the standard CL as to all of our other micro contracts. These smaller products really allow traders of all different sizes and types and all different uh, trading strategies really allows them to take advantage of some of the, um, the scaling, the, the greater granularity, the more precision, um, the lesser notional, lesser tick size, all the benefits and features of micros these products possess. Um, and one thing to note in there, the reduction of risk can lead to better risk management opportunity. These smaller, smaller contracts, the smaller tick size can, can really be advantageous to some risk management opportunities out there. So if you're looking for more information on this product, I really encourage you to contact Tradevate or you can go to cmegroup.com and search for WTI crude oil. And we have all of the contract specs and information that we discussed in today's session available on our website. And I'll be um, sharing the deck with Trade of Eight and they could also uh, circulate this deck if anybody is interested in that. So thanks for listening. I will, uh, I'll pause here and I think we'll get the, the Q&A session under, underway. All right, John, thank you so much. That was very informative uh, and, and uh, lots, of, lots of good information there. There have been a few questions. Some of them were more uh, margin related and contract specs or fees. You can go to the, uh, the Trade of Eight website and you'll find the margins page. And if you just search for MCL or just CL, if you wanna look at the, the specs for the, the crude oil, you can just search for those symbols and you'll find things like the uh, what the tick size is, the value per tick, um, the the fees like exchange fees, NFA fees, clearing fees, etc. So you'll find that information on our website. Now, a few questions that came in that I think John would you be the uh, good person to answer. So the one question was about the uh, the circuit breaker. So I think looking at the web the CME website is that a fifteen percent circuit breaker just like the CL for the micro crude oil? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna mirror the CL. Okay. Okay, understood. And there was a one comment saying that uh, the volume on the MCL looks like it's already surpassed the QM volume. And uh, I, they they're saying we'll get rid of the QM so <laughs> so so there'll be more volume on the MCL. What do you think um, Will, will be a, I guess, a better option for retail traders trading the, the QM like they have been or, or the, the MCL? It's a really good question and it's a difficult one to answer. What I can say is that we have no plans to, to sunset or delist or decommission QM at this, excuse me, at this point. We, uh, our intention is for MCL to be completely additive to QM and, and CO. So we don't have any plans to delist it at this point. Understood. Okay. There was a question that came in earlier when you were showing one of the one of the first slides. You were showing some of the the volume 
the number of, uh, I guess, the number of contracts traded on the MCL. And you had something about the CL ADV. Uh, is that, could you, could you comment on what the, yeah, there it is, a CL ADV, 1 million. What is the ADV? What does that stand for? Average daily volume. The average daily volume on the CL contract is a little over a million round turns a day. Got it. Okay. Makes sense. Let me see if there's anything else here that um, would be good to for you to answer. The 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 um, initial margin that's calculated by the uh, by the CME, obviously it's ten percent of the the CL initial margin, and that obviously that can mm -hmm. change based on a number of factors. Could you comment on that? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That margin is it's ten percent of the CL, but it's also a percentage of the notional, and that margin requirement can change and be affected by a number of factors. Um, including volatility. So if it's a highly volatile market, we might increase the margin requirement on that product. Got it. Okay. Yeah, that seems like pretty all the questions that came through other than the, the questions that I directed them to our, our website for. Uh, again, you you can go to the the CME. I just went over to the that that OPEC uh, watch tool and that looks very easy to use and, and that's certainly something you can take a look at just ser search for CME OPEC uh, watch tool and you'll find it right away and then for anything contract related if you're looking for what the the margins are that we charge or we we, we require during the day uh, during the overnight uh, the initial margin you'll find that information on our, on our website feel free to take a look at the contract in the platform as well, MCL. And currently, so maybe that's a good question. Uh, the the contract expiration, currently it's the September contract. And what? how does that work exactly with the uh, the expiration months? Which which ones are the, the liquid ones? Which ones should you uh, not trade on? Is it, it, are, are there any contracts that you should just skip over? So in the MCL contract, we have volume on all five expiries. Personally, I would say if you're looking for the most liquidity, look at the front month. The front month contract historically is most is the most liquid. Understood. So right now that's the September contract. So if you search for MCL U1 in Trade of Eight, you'll find that contract. Yeah, I don't see any any other questions here. Oh, I see a few people asking about the the link for that for that uh, tool. I'll send that over to you here in just a moment. But uh, other than that, I think we've covered everything. And John, I want to thank you for the time that you spent and explaining this. It's been very useful, and I'm um, I'm excited to see how this progresses as the as more and more traders trade the the micro crude oil. So that'll be exciting to see how that uh, how that goes great it's been my pleasure and thank you very much for having me all right sounds good i'm i'm hope i'm pretty sure we'll be speaking again uh, in the not too far future and we'll be uh doing more of these these have been very very useful uh very much appreciated everyone else thank you for taking the time as well and if any questions come up feel free to reach out to us uh trade of eight you can just go to our website uh, send us uh, an email or use the chat. We also have a chat in the platform. So if you're using the Trade of Eight Trader platform, feel free to chat us uh, through there, and um, you you can um, reach out to us anytime. We'd be happy to help. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. Bye bye.